guys, um, welcome back to um, uh, NBA, and uh, I'm going to be showing you guys three different um, magic tricks that will most likely blow away your friends. If you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe and like this video, and maybe share this video to get more views. Uh, this is not a screen thing where I keep my face unlocked. This is my face, and um, if you guys haven't already, check out my um, short uh, that I made at the introduction, and um, my brother... My bro will be in this video later uh, in the channel. Also, um, I'm working on my logo as we speak. Um, uh, it will be on, on merch and uh, other different things in on this channel later. So, without any further ado, let's get right into making uh, card tricks happen. So, this is a normal deck of cards, and um, you can see that all the cards are different. There's nothing sketchy about this. Um, I already threw out the Jokers. And uh, this is completely random choice. I'm going to shuffle the cards. And um, very nice shuffle. And uh, this is completely random choice. There's nothing sketchy about this at all. So uh, this is, you're able to pick any card. And in this case, we're going to pick the Jack of Hearts, one of my favorite cards. And um, we're going to keep that and lock it in our brain. So... What I want you guys to do, uh oh, I dropped a card. Anyway, what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to sing. And you guys might have saw what I just did. That's completely fine. So I want you guys, I'm gonna put this, so remember, remember this, remember this card. I'm gonna put this right inside the deck. Now I want you guys to think of that card and flipping in through the screen you guys to think of that card, the Jack of Hearts, flipping over in this deck like this. Okay, there's no edits. I didn't, nothing was in my hands. So, as you can see, I'm gonna sneeze there. Um, one card, one card only will be completely flipped over. There's nothing in my hand. And yeah, it's the Jack of Hearts. That was kind of crazy. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do it and how all the steps through it too. So first you're going to take a normal deck. This is, there's no normal, there's a normal, this is a normal deck. Like there's nothing sketchy about it. There's nothing that's going to change about it. No. So you, this is a completely free choice. They can show it to you. They can't show it. They don't have to show it to you. But in this case, we're going to take the eight of diamonds, so eight of diamonds. So, this is completely free choice, but while they're looking at this, you are going to, if you're a skilled magician and you're learning this trick, you're going to flip the card over in the advanced way. Like that. But if you're an unskilled magician and you're just learning, pop it in your mouth, or since I'm videoing, you are going to flip it over while they're paying attention to this card. So... Once that's flipped over, they are actually going to put it face down into a face down deck. So if you're having enough, they'll be putting it into technically a face down edge. And when they're you have the, they, they have their eyes on you, you will flip over the, the top card and you will say, I want you to think about that card flipping over and then they, they will find one card, one card only, that is flipped over somewhere right there. And it's the exact same card. It will always be the exact same card, Eight of Diamonds or other any other card. And um, let's move on with tricks. This one's quite easy. Um, you guys might learn this quickly. You guys might not learn it. But um, I'm pretty bad at it myself. I need a more open kind of area so if I didn't want to do this like boom hey me I'm in the mirror um <laughs> so so you guys need to work on this I haven't done this in a while so it would technically be in a more skilled version you grabbing a card out of midair but I'm not too good at it right now I'm not so good at it so grabbing a card on midair, simple as that. So you're gonna take your in a spider spider-man position and you take these two fingers, hook it on 
and you can't you need to adjust it but you should be in more of this position so like this and then when you're going to do that you can and then you're able to do that i can only do it in fat slow motion so i'm really fine um so once you keep practicing it it will get faster and faster to the point where you're able to pull it out quickly and quickly <laughs> and um secret behind the disappearing card trick this one i actually made up i'm going to tilt my camera down and um this one there's no secret at all much to this uh, there is a secret but you're going to tell your opponent when to stop this is completely free choice there is no just stop right there and then i'm not going to look at it at all not looking at all and then i'm going to put it back in the deck i'm not looking at all so that was a completely free choice and then open the deck and we may see i'm gonna sense you guys just sit, yell yes when you guys see your card you guys see it you guys see it oh okay so it's out of all of these cards I'm just gonna put this down. all these cards so I want you to think about this. Oh, okay. I'm reading your guys' mind. Oh, oh. Is this your card? If it was, yay, but if it's not, sorry, that didn't work. Anyway, this one involves a lot of skill. So you have to look before the trick, you have to look at the bottom. And when you're saying stop, you have to pull it like this. When they say stop, it's you're gonna pull with your two fingers. You're gonna pull. Oh, why is this pulling? You're gonna pull to the point where no matter how it ends up, this will always be in front. You can say I'm not looking or anything. And when they put it back in the deck, and this is a completely free choice. You can spread your cards open on the table, anything you want, and. You can say when you sense it, anything like that. And in this case, you sense it right there, and then it's the eight of diamonds. Boom! I don't remember if it's it was the eight of diamonds. Um. So yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this this video, and um, I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Maybe, maybe, maybe I don't know. See you guys tomorrow. Happy art.